Continuing where we left off last time, and where we left off was pillaging a whole lot of islands for items. So, got a frog suit, not exactly a worthwhile addition to my arsenal, especially since after this there will be only one underwater level, I think maybe two, but probably just with the one in World 7. And got a leaf on this one. And then there's another little island here with uh, an extra toad house. Let's see what we can get there. And it's a leaf. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to use a flower because the, the next uh, the next stage involves boss bass. Now you remember the first one, how the stage went up and down and up and down. Well, this one goes way up and then way down, so you gotta seek refuge on the higher islands in order to uh, not have to do business with boss bass, but even there, look how deep it goes! So this is why I went with a flower, because even with how uh, high some of the islands are, well, it's not gonna be enough and I'm gonna need to kill boss bats in order to get by. There we go. So now we're gonna try and get over there as quick as possible. Okay, come on, quick, quick, oh, 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 that was close. Okay, now, gotta resist. Oh, oh come on, come on, oh, yeah, oh, oh, ah, oh, oh my god, I, re I really feared for my life right there. I thought, I, th I thought I was done for, I couldn't hit it at all, but fortunately I managed to survive for what seems like forever. So this is another annoying level down, and this time I didn't even get a stupid death, so... Well, it's more fun for me than it is for you, I imagine. Oh! Memory! Uh, memory match, so... Let's go there. As I recall... Okay, there's a flower there, and the other I remember, it was right there. Okay, ten coins. This one, maybe? Nah. Okay, let's try this one. 20 coins? Oh, it's right. They're right next to each other. That's a rare occurrence. But okay, so that's a, f a flower and 30 coins. But more importantly, I'm gonna start again from a clean slate when I reach 480,000 points. So, stage 3 9. There's just a little part of it that's underwater, though most of it leads to a secret. I think it's a frog suit. And of course, as you can imagine, I'm not gonna go. Whoa, there we go. I'm not, I'm not gonna go all over the place for a freaking frog suit. I'd much rather be able to shoot fireballs. Okay, there's nothing in there. Oh, bob bombs! Those are uh, an enemy when I was talking about uh, what came from originally from Mario 2. That, uh, or rather, Doki Doki Panic. That's that became a mainstay of uh, the series. I thought of the shy guys, but I completely forgot about Bubbons. So, okay, so we're now at the underwater part. Now I'm just gonna throw that block there, and it's gonna be rather easy since I can shoot fireballs. Okay, so right there, it's the exit. I'm just going to take it easy. Try not to get hit. There we go. More fish sticks on the menu today. Okay, so that stage is done. So we're going to the airship to meet Wendy. And I'm going to be honest here. It's the first time in my life that I'm actually happy to see Wendy. Because, well, to, to make a long story short, yesterday I have had my balls crushed by trying to beat Mega Man 2. I spent hours trying to get through Wily's castle and progress was so slow it took forever and so I spent hours and hours and hours trying to get through the castle but eventually I meet my match against Wily you know the one where you gotta shoot uh, atomic fire at it uh, first and then you gotta shoot crash bombs and it's got those little bouncing balls remember those from Sonic 2 on Game Gear well they're child's play compared to Wily's version of bouncing balls you basically can't can't avoid those. Ooh, that was a close one. I tried to make a run for it, but it almost backfired. Let's see if I can get up there. Mm. Uh, nope. Well, anyway, I gave up when I saw I couldn't beat it, and I tried my hand at it today, and the first four levels went a whole lot better, and I even managed to beat Wily in a respectable number of attempts. The key, as it turns out, is not to try to dodge the bouncing balls, but trying to do well against those while you gotta shoot atomic fire. You know, the ones that go down and then 
up again, that's what I'm talking about. So yeah, because of that, I am so happy to see Wendy right now, even with her annoying rings here. Come on, one hit. Come on, only two more. Okay, let's go. I, I, I got it. Oh man, come on. I oh, come on. Damn, she's jumping high. Well, at least I got this one. So I've just beaten one of the hardest Koopa kids in the game. The others that I really don't like are Ludwig and Roy for their freaking annoying earthquakes. And yeah, I eventually beat the final boss of Mega Man 2 as well. So yeah, here's why I I had my gaming instincts really sharp for this battle. Okay, and is it me or does this king look like Mario somewhat? I mean, when he's bigger than that, but yeah, that's doesn't that doesn't matter. The white block contains magic powers that will enable you to defeat your enemies. You mean like that uh, ma that that music box there that you just gave me that is completely useless, by the way, since I'm doing uh, a 100% run, but magic power that enables you to defeat your enemies? It doesn't defeat them, it just allows me to sneak past uh, some Hammer Brothers unnoticed. Well, whatever. Uh, this is the giant world, and I believe this is a lot of people's favorite world. I know it's mine for sure, and well, enemies are a lot bigger, but that doesn't make them any more threatening, except for the Hammer Brothers. Oh, come on! Oh! <laughs> I was afraid for a little bit that even when the mushroom went the way I wanted it to, that I'd still miss out on it because I accidentally jumped up on the block instead. Okay, now if I remember, there's a leaf in there, and there's a hidden passage way up in the sky, but I'm not even gonna try, because I I, I really wanna not die as much as possible, and the, the longer I spend in these levels, the more likely I'm to do a stupid mistake and die. And yeah, I... One th another thing I hate is those really small platforms. Okay, if I can just... Maybe if I go back a little... Hey, it's not firing at all! It's working! So I can go through there without having to deal with the plant or the fireballs. But yeah, those really small platforms... Yeah, I know I bitched about Mega Man's physics. Um, uh, maybe it was in the last video. But in fact, they make it a whole lot easier to land on really small platforms. You know, the one, the ones, for example, in Mega Man 2, right before you fight the dragon, and even when you're fighting the dragon, you can't really jump on those with physics like Mario's. You really need the kind of physics that Mega Man has in order to be able to survive that kind of battle. <laughs> it's sort of fun, you know, how that variety of piranha plants isn't any bigger uh, in this world than in the other ones, so it's in those really huge pies where they could fit two of those plants and uh, they'd still have enough room left for, uh, for a kitchen or something. And it would have been cool to see two of two piranha plants emerge out of the same pie. It would have been interesting, though it would have made things a little more challenging. Though given how I performed in this level, it wouldn't have been such a bad idea. Now, speaking of challenge, I am going to go to the Toad House, and then I'm going to cut this here, because level 4-3 is one of the most annoying ones in the game. It was a catastrophe in Koshmar 89's co-op run for once, so I am going to stop here.